Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Friday Faith Sharing. My name is Deacon Joe. I'm the Deacon at Holy Cross Catholic Church. Today, I'm with Ange from Holy Names University. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Good. Thank you for being here. Um, I know you because you helped train me in my first years as a, before I was ordained as a deacon. You helped train me to be an altar server. And so today, every time I do the incense, I think about you and all of your instruction and help. So thank you very much for that. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now? Like, where are you working right now? Yeah, so I'm the Assistant Director of Housing and Residence Life at Holy Names University. It's a small private Catholic university up in the Oakland Hills. Um, a really cool part of this institution that I'm very proud to be part of is that within the core values, um, there is clearly states that there's a dedication to social justice and to those who are marginalized for or um, just basically uh, encouraging students to become a full person as well as to dedicate and commit themselves to liberating action. That sounds wonderful. I'll touch a little bit upon that in your reflection this, this, this day. So let us take a brief moment to be silent and to prepare ourselves to hear God's holy word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus went from that place and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. For my daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. I was love hearing this scripture or scriptures like it um just because it it challenges your view on specifically who jesus is as a person and there's always controversy specifically with this scripture um because most of the time we just think of jesus being this amazing human being who has no faults and at the end of the day we forget that jesus is human he, he was sent down from heaven and is considered human at this point and so he still has some faults and um when we're listening to the scripture we have the privilege to hear how he has heard something done something that may have been seen as controversial and then is able to correct it and change his own point of view and viewpoints from it and so what I mean from this is um, if we look at the context of the specific scripture, the woman um, is known as a, uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but like a Canaanite woman, woman, right? Which is like kind of seen as like the en enemy, uh, enemy, enemy of 
uh, pe the people of Israel. And so the disciples are like, cast away this person. They're, they're not worthy of having you heal her daughter. Um, Jesus himself says, who am I to take the food from children and give it to dogs? And basically comparing like him giving his help to this person as basically taking away from of innocent people to like not worthy or like belittled people, if that makes sense. Um, and so later in the scripture, you're here Jesus basically saying like, woman, you have great faith. And like, it's regardless of what is going on, he himself realizes this woman is reaching out for help. So who is he to not give help and not live out the own words that he is saying to his, the people of Israel to love one another, to help thy neighbor. neighbor. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I love hearing this because it also ties into basically the current state of the world today, whether it's racial or social injustices, um, the currency of the pandemic, people taking what they see as like their true view on something and it then being turned into, well, I'm doing something that I believe is good, so why should I hear or see someone else who may have a opposing, opposing view? Um, and with this scripture, it, you basically hear how Jesus himself had a fuller revelation of the word of God and how he can carry that out for the common good, for the, for the good of the commonwealth. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you definitely touch upon how this, this portion of Matthew's gospel is controversial. And um, I remember Father James Martin, the Jesuit priest, you know, when he did a reflection on this a couple years ago, he said this was a time when, what, what you pointed out, when Jesus learns. And, um, you know, I know he got a lot of flack for that, um, for that comment, you know, as though Jesus at all times is perfect in knowledge. We know Jesus is perfect in morals, but certainly in Christological debate, there's that touch of what does it mean to be God, fully God and fully human? And I think you touch upon what we're still as a church and as theologians look, look, theologians look into this, this very difficult um, subject. Thank you for sharing your reflection and thank you for tying this gospel into um, our world today. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and um, see you at Mass this weekend. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.